You remember that trade deal a couple years ago between the United States and China? No, China doesn't either. It turns out that all of that stuff that China was supposed to buy, well, they never did. Let's look into it right now. Here you can see China bought none of the $200 billion it promised from the US under the phase one trade deal. So to look back in the pages of history as to what happened here, essentially China agreed to buy more stuff, all kinds of stuff. But it turns out that you know they didn't buy anywhere near what they were supposed to. Here's the chart that goes along with this. China fell behind at the start and bought none of the additional $200 billion of exports it had committed to under the phase one. The phase one is kind of like back of a napkin. It's kind of, uh, you know, we promised to do that, you know, no worries. Um, so when you looked at it initially, it seemed very skeptical to begin with, but there was so much support behind it from certain people that they said, this is happening, this is the greatest thing ever, and I got a lot of backlash from certain people. Uh, I made the videos like this, trade deal turns into a joke, and if you watch that video along with the others that I did around that time frame, uh, I'd love to see the comments. Actually, I was just scrolling through right now before uh, making this video just to look you know what the sentiment was and there's definitely two sides at that time anyway um and and you just look at it trying to really think for yourself and and understand what happened here what was this and really it was all about the rhetoric it was we're going to make things happen we're getting the economy going again and look Nobody was expecting, well, at least you and I weren't necessarily expecting what happened over the past couple of years to be the case, lockdowns and shutdowns and, you know, this and that, economic turmoil all across the world. But there's another problem that's been happening here, and ultimately for the average person, they're not getting the truth. There was no way that they could ever buy this. And while I was out there saying, please, nobody believe this, nobody, no, don't do this so. And there were still a lot of people who were unfortunately swindled by this. And we've got to understand if it's coming from the suits and the ties, we shouldn't believe it. Not that you should believe the guys with the hoodies. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying you got to do your own research. And number one, start with the pages of history. Don't believe me. When you see, see somebody out there, whether it's coming from the suits and ties or whether it's coming from somebody on YouTube, you've got to question them. Even though when they say, I'm here to help you, you've got to be very, very concerned about that. Wasn't it Ted Bundy who would dress all so nicely and invite certain you know, women or whatever into his car, he got them in. Why? Because he had the nice car, he had the nice suit, and he was able to do what he wanted in that case because he seemed, oh, so trustworthy. Side topic. U.S. monthly goods and services exports to China covered by the phase one deal. You can see it right here for yourself. If I could zoom in. Yeah, let's take a look at that a little bit. Okay, hope you can see that better if I zoomed in. 59, so so this is right here. You're, you're seeing this black line. 2020 to 2021, actual exports, 288 billion. The 2017 baseline was actually higher, 300 billion. The total two-year purchase commitment was 500 billion. That was an additional 200 billion. It didn't do that. It didn't happen. Absolutely not at all. People should be questioning everything. Why didn't that occur? Why was this strange from the first place? It was strange from the first place. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that to give you an update. This is something I had been covering for a while. Here's the update. I'm not going to go on and on and on. You get the point. The point is that when we look at all this information coming through, we could, I mean, there's got to be a warning signal. There's got to be something going off. You, you were seeing $200 billion extra. I mean, something should be flashing. Oh, but no, it's all going to get done magically. Don't believe that. Don't believe the hype. And remember to always read 
history. If you appreciate this information, hit that thumbs up. If you disagree, if you want to share your thoughts, put it in the comments below. I'll see you on the next one.